Minnesota summer is the perfect time to drink in all the fun our state has to offer. Yeah, like at a brewery. <laughs> Only an hour or so southeast of the Twin Cities in Red Wing. Natalie and Frank join us right now. A gorgeous day and a lot of things to do there in Red Wing. Plenty to do, ton of things to do. Really, we fun. haven't stopped since we've gotten here, which yeah. has been a great thing. And we've got lots more to do. But first, we want to show you that Red Wing, for the first time in 60 years, has opened up a brewery. Yeah, uh, not far from where we're at right now. The Red Wing Brewery is on Old Main Street, and it was uh, started by two guys who turned their passion into a profession. Red Wing was founded in part on breweries because of all the grain that was being grown in Goodhue County. You might say Scott and Norm are reviving a bit of Red Wing history with every pint and growler they fill here at Red Wing Brewery. That brewing history was in danger of being lost. There once were five breweries in the city. Today, this is the only one. They serve nine of their own brews and a mix of other Minnesota beers and wines. But if you want to get a real taste of Red Wing's history, you have to try Rummer's Royal Brew. Oh, Rummer's Royal Brew was uh, uh, a very cool beer to make. Uh, it's one of the only recipe we have that we didn't create ourselves. With help from the local historical society, Scott and Norm found an original recipe from 1896. Our flaked maize allows a little sweetness into the beer. And brought it back to life. And it's very rare for a city to have a pre-prohibition recipe still in existence, let alone one that's that old. Though it's lighter than most of today's micro brews, Remler's Royal was a unique flavor in its day. Back then it was said that Remler's Royal Brew could put a lumberjack on his ear. There's a bit of Minnesota in every sip and bite at the brewery. Local grains are used in the beer and the pizza dough. We take a, a bucket of our grain weekly over to Hannish Bakery. The staff over there make a wonderful product. Back in the kitchen, those fresh made doughs are topped with local meat and cheeses. And our feeling is when you pull all those together, you can't help but get a, a very genuine product uh, that's also a very quality product. And uh, like a lumberjack, um, Natalie's going to chug this in just a couple oh, minutes. No. We'll see if we put a television <laughs> anchor on her ear. But uh, so, you know, if you notice, if you go to the brewery, there are no TVs, and that's intentional. They want people to sit around and talk yep. and share a beer and have conversation and enjoy the food and enjoy each other. I think that's a good idea. A little bit of a throwback. Hey, if you do go on the weekends, though, expect long lines because yeah. a lot of people like to go there. Can't Co blame them. No, I can't blame them at all. Coming up at six, we're going to take you to another cool spot. It's a church that is now a vacation home. Pretty cool. A church, now a vacation home, and you can stay there if you want. The 118 year old recipe, this which we didn't right think honestly. You're like, boy, it's so old. How, it can't be that can't good. Can't be that good, but, but let's see. It's not our first sip. Not the first sip, but the, the, just as good as the first sip. Really, really good. You would be, you would be so surprised. If you like those really heavy beers, probably not for you. Oh, it's a lighter but if you want something one. drinkable. The, yes. Yeah, but it still has some great taste. It's nice. really, really well, nice. Don't drink it all. Nice Bring flavor. some back. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Oh, we will. Goodness, thank goodness you already uh, did the wait for yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll see you at wait six. Wait for tonight at 10. You'll I know. Love I said that. thank goodness yeah. you already did that before, you know. We'll see you at six. That one was a real treat. <laughs> that one was a real treat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we have to go now. So all right. Yeah. Enjoy. Bye. Cheers. Next week, our buddies Liz Collin and Lauren Casey are hitting the road. Watch for their live reports from Two Harbors starting Thursday at 5.